Good afternoon. Here the topic is <coughs> effect of the inertia of shaft on longitudinal vibration. Subject name is uh, theory of machines. This is the subject of mechanical engineering. You know this thing. Uh, here, <coughs> previous to this video, uh, we have uh, posted one video where you have seen longitudinal vibration of a spring or of a shaft. Both are same. Okay. Mathematical formation is same. So here we want to consider the mass of the shaft also. Means previous to this video, there the mass of the shaft was neglected. Shaft is from this point to this point. Length of the shaft is L. Okay. So mass of the shaft was neglected. Only the mass which is attached at the end means this one, of which the weight is W. Okay, this was considered. But here, in this topic, the mass of the shaft will also be considered. So to consider that thing, we have taken a shaft of length L and cross-sectional area remains uniform throughout the length. Okay. And at the end, there is one weight, W, attached. Right? Now, uh, to begin the calculation, uh, first you take a small elemental area. This is small elemental area at a distance of X. At a distance of X from this top okay and width of the element is dx is that visible uh, yeah is that that is visible okay so width of the element is dx and it is at a distance of x from this top <coughs> also assume that m suffix s s for shaft this is what this is mass of the shaft mass of the shaft per unit length per unit length okay ms is taken to be mass of the shaft per unit length then what is the mass of this elemental element Okay, what is the mass of this element? Normally, it should be ma, uh, not normally, obviously it should be ms into dx. That is the mass. Okay, so ms, so mass of the element, mass of the element is nothing but ms into dx. Right, this is the mass of the element. Now suppose, the velocity of this extra mass attached is equal to V. Okay, and you know that velocity at this end will be zero. So that means throughout the length of the step, there is variation of velocity. Since it is here zero at the end, it is V. Therefore, throughout the length of the step, there is variation of velocity. At different distances from the top, velocity will be different. So, if we assume, simply we are assuming that the change is linear. So, if the change is linear, change means what? Change of what? Change means change of velocity is linear. Then, in that case, at the end a, here, here, the velocity will be how much? Velocity will be. It is equal to x by L into V. X by L into V is the velocity at this end. Means uh, velocity of the element. Okay. Velocity of the element is this much. If we take linear change of the velocity. This is just an assumption and nothing else. Okay. So if this be the velocity, then what is the kinetic energy of this element? Then kinetic energy of the element, kinetic energy of the element, this is equal to how much? This is equal to half into mass 
mass is how much? ms into dx into square of the velocity. So, square of the velocity is s by l into v. Square of this. This is the kinetic energy of the element. Okay. So, this is how much? This is half ms x square by l square here v square and here dx. Right. Half ms x square by l square into v square into dx. This is the kinetic energy of the element. Then what is the kinetic energy of the shaft? Then kinetic energy of the shaft. Here I am showing that thing. Kinetic energy of the shaft. Okay. That is equal to integration of 0 to L. Means x that is from here 0, here it is L. So, integration of this expression. Half ms x square by L square v square dx. Right. Here, ms and v and L, all these things are constant. So, all these things can be taken outside the integral sign. So, half ms v square by L square and here you are getting 0 to L x square dx. And the integration of this thing will be x cube by 3. So, ultimately result will be what? Half ms v square by L square into L cube by 3. Right? L cube by 3. So this is equal to what? Half into ms into L. Okay. Half into ms into L into uh, into one third one third v square. Right. ms into L is what? Small ms that was mass of the shaft per unit length. Then this ms multiplied by the length of the shaft that is equal to total mass of the shaft that will be denoted by capital M suffix S. This is what? This is total mass of the shaft. So, this is ms and 3 is there. So, this can be written as half into ms by 3 into v square. So, what is this? This is kinetic energy. Half into ms by 3 into v square. This, that means this kinetic energy was neglected in the previous calculation. This kinetic energy was neglected. Okay. And here you can see the mass is not here ms. It is one third of ms. Means one third of the mass of the sap is coming here. Means appearing here. Okay. One third of the total mass of the sap is appearing here. So we need to use this kinetic energy also. Okay. What is the kinetic energy of this extra mass attached at the end? It is equal to half. W is the weight. Therefore mass is W by G. And velocity was V square. If this kinetic energy, this is kinetic energy of this extra mass attached. Okay. If this kinetic energy is comparable with this kinetic energy, then effect of this should also be taken into account. Okay? And if this value, numerical value of this is very very less than numerical value of this, then in that case, this kinetic energy can be neglected. But if in the case where this kind, numerical value of this is not negligible as compared to this value, then in that case, you have to take into account this value also. Okay. And here you can see that only one third of the mass is there. Okay. So you have to add this one third of the mass with this mass. Means for the formula of frequency, what was the formula of frequency? F suffix A, it is equal to 1 by 2 pi into root over of S by M. This was the formula for natural frequency of this shaft. Okay. 1 by 2 pi into root over of S by M, where S is the stiffness of the shaft and M is the mass of the extra weight attached, this one, mass of this. So, so, so to rectify the formula, 
what we should do? We have to add this ms by 3 with this mass. That means mean formula for frequency when you are considering the mass of the shaft also will be 1 by 2 pi into root over of s by this m plus m s by 3. Right. Can we check whether the lowermost portion is visible or not? Yeah, it is also visible. Okay. Okay. So, this is the effect of the inertia. Inertia means here mass. Okay. Effect of inertia of the shaft on longitudinal vibration. Same calculation can be done uh, for uh, transverse vibration also. Means there are also effect of the inertia of the shaft can be taken into account for transverse vibration. Okay. Uh, in next video I will show that thing. Here this is the end of this lecture. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good day.